sup guys so today we have another math competition problem so find all pairs of x and y belonging to the integers such that 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over 101 hmm. Fuck. okay how do we do this well we obviously start by multiplying by all the denominators everywhere so just 101 x y so uh, then we'll have that y plus sorry 101 y plus 101 x is equal to x y and we just move things to the left hand side so we have that yeah we can do this however i i like it this way x y minus 101 x minus 101 y is equal to zero so now if you know your factorizations you can factor this as x minus 101 times y minus 101 but then if we do this we also get the term plus 101 squared which is 10,101 no it isn't sorry it's 10201 yeah yes it should be um so then we get we also have to subtract the 10201 is equal to zero which is just the same as saying that thing is equal to that so and because these are integers we know no other integers uh, these ones also have to be integers so therefore we can just prime factorize fa factorize factorize 10201 and we know that all possible like integer multiplications that we can do that end up with 10201 that's all our possible answers for these parentheses and then we obviously have to add 101 to get uh, to get y and x for both so we can just start by saying that well okay uh 10201 it is as we said before it is 101 times 101 is 101 a prime number yes it is so now we just have to account for all like the the negative variants so we have that this is also equal to the minus 101 times minus 101 and uh, we can write that it's well obviously it is the same as uh, 10201 times 1 which is also we have to count the negatives which is also the same as minus 10,201 times minus 1. So now, here, here we kind of have all our possibilities. Um, so, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll start, start with the first one. Okay, so x and, okay, if we so we want both parentheses to be equal to 101. So what are x and y? Well, they're, they're, they're the same, obviously, and they are 202. So we have solutions. We can just start writing them directly. We have solutions. We have 202 and 202. Okay, now let's look at this one. Okay, it's supposed to be minus 101. What is x and y? x and y should be zero then but we know that's not allowed in because uh, because of our starting point so no that's not allowed and then we'll look at this so this works perfectly fine so then we have that x minus 101 is supposed to be 10201 so we have that the answer is 10 3 0 2 and then if y minus 101 is supposed to be 1, then y is just 102. 
and I will continue over here. So these are like all our solutions. We'll write them here. We continue over here. So uh, yes, we were here exactly, and obviously we can just switch the order, right? So we get the the just reverse. So one hundred and two, and then ten thousand three hundred three hundred two. So we have one hundred and two, and then ten thousand three hundred two. Yes, so that's that one, and then we'll just do the the same with this. I'll, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Right. So <laughs> if x minus one hundred and one is supposed to be equal to minus ten thousand two hundred one, then we have the answer minus ten thousand one hundred. And if y is supposed to be y minus 101 is supposed to be minus 1, then we have that y is 100. And again, we can flip this so that x is equal to y and the, the reverse. So 100 and minus 100. So 10,000 and 1. Okay. And okay, so now let's just check. So this case. We have that, and the reverse of that is just the same, so there's no, no point writing it out. And then this one has no real, has uh, the solution zero, which can't be the case. And then for this case, we have that it's uh, plus 101 in each case, and well, it's true for all of them. So, uh, uh, and yes, and we do the, the reverse order. And then for this one, it's also plus 101 on both sides. So we have 10,100, 100, and then we do the reverse. So we have 100 and minus 10,100. And we are done. See ya.